In today's video, I will be showing you everything I eat in a day as a 24-year-old hybrid athlete looking to build muscle and lose fat in the next six weeks. I'll also be sharing my exact grocery list and daily routine. Welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat in a day. I'm gonna hit a workout here soon. It's 7 a.m. and I usually start my mornings with a workout. I'll be making a pre-workout snack because I only have two eggs today. It'd be better if I usually make three or four. This should do for today. This would be my protein. And then I like to have like some light carbs, some oatmeal. And honestly, this is like the best because it doesn't make you feel very full. It's running out. One egg. You know, it's 80% what you eat, 20% is what you really do outside of it. I feel like if you just prep your food in advance, you just leave everything ready in your fridge, and when the day comes, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can just grab that food and prep it for the day. And that way you don't have to go and spend money eating out and... 32 grams of carbs. So it's like a perfect pre-workout snack. You can mix it with like some fruit. I put... A little too much milk in there. I put way too much milk in this. It'll do. Juan, do you want to eat something? Too bad, we don't have anything. No, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, first meal of the day. A little simpler than usual, but two eggs, half a cup of oatmeal. Any questions, Juan? I don't like training fasted. Whenever I train fasted, I feel like I'm not as strong. And I have nothing against people who train fasted. It's just preference. I'm gonna down like two of these, bring like two with me to the gym. This is like the most underestimated thing. Just drinking your water throughout the day. Pre-workout, lemonade, literally tastes like lemonade. And then creatine monohydrate paired with impact whey protein, salted caramel flavor. Favorite post-workout shake. Need a cup. One scoop. Chest day. Here's the workout. We're gonna be doing bench press. Four sets of about anywhere from 12 to eight. And then I'll pull the bench out and I'll do dumbbell incline press. I'll probably end up going into some flies and then hitting some triceps. There's one thing I always do to warm up chest. Like 10 push up, but I'll do them nice and slow. Put all the weight on your chest. The slower, the better. <laughs> almost more exciting than hitting the goal. Because then you know the journey ahead, like you, you know what you gotta do. So. Even if it's like kinda sloppy, getting that last sloppy rep is what helps you grow exponentially over the course of a long time, just doing that consistent level. You'll see like major gains. Yeah, once I found out that I was having a baby, like I went into like that, like dad mode and just started cleaning up everything around me. Started eating everything and I could never get past 170, you know? And I was playing like 176, 178 and I was like, yo, this is crazy. I've never weighed this much in my life, so. Let's go grocery shopping and then make some food so we can go eat, man. Those two eggs won't hold you up for too long, so. You hit at least like 190 grams of protein today. What a great workout we hit. Chest and triceps is always one of my favorites. This home gym is like a guaranteed sweat, so. Target. It's right across the street. You know what's another good place to shop at? Aldi's. If you go to Aldi's, you can get so much. <laughs> about what you eat at the end of the day if you want to build muscle of course you have to lift weights and resistance train but for the most part it's all about what you eat I think Aldi's is the by far the cheapest place you can get good groceries I'm gonna have to go in there and ask for a quarter though because I didn't bring one this is this is the spot you'll never see a quarter got it grab some broccoli heads look for all of this two dollars Peaches. Well, it's 
Some of these bags are just missing some. <laughs> That's good, right? I mean, how many, how many? It's this one, I'm pretty sure, but like cut up. Yeah. The, this brand is so cool. Three main ingredients, flour, water, and salt. Yeah, why not? Kiwis, some chicken. Only 10 bucks. This right here, top sirloin steak, only 11 bucks. I've had this before. The, the taste is phenomenal and it's actually massive. What a deal. <laughs> You're just gonna keep hearing me say, what a deal. Organic grass-fed beef. Oh wow, they limited you to only four packets. Oh, Gray's gonna be happy about Nine this. Nine bucks for this much steak. And it's really good, it's sirloin. Jasmine rice. Last thing on the list, sweet potatoes. But look, if your cart looks like this, when you go grocery shop and you do this every time you go, you're gonna get in great shape. Finished up, 100 bucks. This will last me about half of the week, probably if I eat a lot, but probably for the full week. All right, so if you guys weren't able to follow along, I'm gonna drop a link in the description so that you guys can get my detailed grocery list that I practically get every single time I go to the grocery store. Yeah, all right. I got you something. What? I don't know. Let me see. There we go. <laughs> Pack the whole fridge just to take it out. Usually I'd want some chicken, but I think the steak would be cool for now. Steak, rice. That was some rice. Today we're having steak, rice, and broccoli. I feel like the broccoli just kind of like doesn't even hold on to the season. Oh, by the way, we're having a oat milk honey latte. So good. An espresso, oat milk, and honey. I don't wanna like, I'm too quick. Probably about one cup of rice, some broccolis. Get some of the smaller pieces in there. Well, I'd love to have a physical product out like we were talking about beforehand. Having like a water company, water brand, or if not, some sort of like juice or. All right guys, so that was meal number two. We had a smaller breakfast, so we got, we had to catch up on this last meal. This last meal was like a seven to eight ounce steak, full cup of rice and broccoli. Now it's time to do some work. I love these half tights. They're just so simple and like easy to run. In. You don't get like that, like underwear cra crawling into your, <laughs> not gonna wear some of those for our run. I like this shirt a lot. Just getting ready for a run right now. Just put on some new clothing. This is the 247 tank and the 247 tights. Their quality is unmatched. The way I feel and can move in these, it's not about what looks the best. It's like, this is the best for what you're about to do. This is super lightweight. These are awesome. And then I'm gonna wear some Rad Globals. Got sent out some of these and like really like them. But yeah, I've been starting to run consistently and like I wanna incorporate more sprints into my training. How do these look? <laughs> Gray just walked in, handed us a bowl of fruit. We got watermelons, strawberries, kiwis, and bananas right before the run. So this is like my pre-run snack. Let's try this watermelon. The fruits and vegetables, that's what keeps you feeling good. So, you know, if you eat a lot of these, definitely the way you feel will improve, but the way you look is based off your macronutrients. This provides all the vitamins and minerals and like micronutrients your body needs. You know, one of the biggest things I've learned this year is that in order to find some sort of success or the results you want, you have to get really good at continuing to work hard regardless of the short-term outcome. Because let's face it, some people give up because they don't see the results within the time frame they have predetermined in their head. When in reality, time is just one part of the equation. You have to be willing to pay the price of failure every single time you put your best foot forward. And only then will you get better and better and better until one day you look up did it. All right, guys, just got done with my miles. Got two miles in today. Focused on like a seven, 30 minute pace, really trying to hold that. And that was good. You know, I need to keep getting faster for high rocks. If I want to compete in the future, need to go get some meals in now. Get some protein, a protein shake with creatine. I got chicken cooked. So now we're going to go into a protein shake. This is my post run protein shake. Got salted caramel. This is from my protein. This is the best flavor. Best in the game. You can use code Gabe at checkout. Saves you 40% off. Creatine, monohydrate. This is the most studied supplement and it makes sense. I mean, everybody should take it. This is a natural performance enhancing supplement. And it makes a big difference, honestly. I usually take like five grams a day. Some whole milk. If you want less calories, I recommend doing like almond milk. I used to 
cooked away my food. Now I just kind of eyeball it. Grilled chicken breast. Cup of rice. So my goal right now is to build muscle and lose body fat. So like I'm still eating the leanest proteins that I can. I'm not just, you know, indulging in different like steaks the whole entire day. Mm, dear Lord, thank you for this food. I'm so full right now. After having a protein shake and a meal back to back, so full. But gotta finish this. I've been working on something new. So basically, this is the new interactive workouts that I've been working on. Practically my entire workout recorded from start to finish because I wanted to create something that was easy for people to follow along and train exactly like me. Because if I, I felt like if you could train with me, you would see results regardless, no matter what. You would, you would really follow the exact framework and step-by-step -step process that I've done in order to achieve these results. Control your form, slow down. There's like a tons of little cues, but this is, a virtual personal trainer. It's like a personal trainer in your pocket. And so that's what I've been working on. I, I wanna test it out and I wanna give you guys a free trial. Seven days, you guys can try it out. Let me know if you like it or not. And I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check that out and just see if you like it. You know, it, it's it's like a prototype and you're practically training with me. You're not just like there doing it all by yourself. You, you put, put it in your ear, you watch me and then you go hit your set. That's something I've been working on. So for the last meal, I'm having chicken and broccoli. I feel like I don't need the carbs right now. I've had enough rice and I had that fruit bowl before my run. Um, I think this is like the perfect nightcap. So last meal of the day, seven ounces of chicken broccoli and this will do it man this is the first time i'm saying this so this is special to me this is the first event that i'm ever hosting it's going to be a run club here in orlando for the first time i've ever done anything like this so you guys are the first to know if this all goes through you guys are the real ones for sticking through the whole vlog so all right guys that's gonna wrap it up i'm gonna eat this last meal right now and i appreciate every single one of you guys watching this thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace